brother! May God protect you, brother. Can you tell us who lives in that castle? For pity's sake, keep well away from that cursed place. Why? A bloodthirsty prince lives there and kills anyone who dares to approach him. Do you know his name? No one knows his name. Even he has forgotten it. Let's go, or this castle will become our tomb. Wait for me, Shred. But he'll kill you! You heard what that man said! I have to know if it's him. But Princess! You robbed me of what I desired the most, wretched princess. But my hatred has defeated your love. You'll never find your beloved husband again. Don't you recognize me? No. Why did you come here? Didn't they tell you that I would kill you? Yes. They did. Kill her! Wait! You suffer greatly! Allow me to do something for you! No one can calm my torment. All I ask is that you listen to me. I know a truly amazing story. All those who hear it are bewitched by it. What is it about? Allow me to tell it to you, and you'll find out. And if you don't like it, you can have me killed. You'll have to finish it tonight. Tomorrow, at sunrise, you die. Begin.
once long ago. In the city of Baghdad, there lived a boy and a girl that couldn't be more different and distant from each other. The boy was called Aladdin, and he lived in the poorest district of the city. Fresh cakes, candy, candy. Mom, mom, can, can we have some candy can fruit, I have please? Some candy fruits? Please, can we have some candy fruit, please? Please, mom, I'd love some candied fruits. I'm sorry, children. Maybe next time. Aladdin belonged to a large and poor family, and he worked as a shoemaker, like his father. What's wrong, Mother? It's nothing, Aladdin. I have a speck of dust in my eye. Hey, don't worry about the debts. I'll sell my boots to the Caliph and get 100 reals for them. Dreaming as usual. You think the Caliph would sink so low as to buy boots from us? A man as rich as he is has his own personal shoemaker. I can sell them at the market, then. All right, but get a good price for them. The leather's expensive. I know that. Don't worry. I'll talk someone into paying a fortune for them. Leila? What's wrong? Will you tell me the story about the magic lamp? Of course I will. You two. With me. Bye. Don't take all day over it. Come on. Once upon a time, long, long ago, there was a magic lamp that could make every wish come true. How did the lamp make the wishes come true? Well, you just had to rub it three times and then ask it for whatever you wanted. Have I ever told you that the color used to dye fabrics is extracted from a seashell? Amina told me that. Aladdin, are you coming to the festivities tonight? If I don't have to work, I will be there. Okay. Is it really? Despite being curious and intelligent, yes. Aladdin could not Good afford morning. to study, Good morning, but made the most of every experience to enrich his knowledge. Behind nothingness, the umbrella of desires opens. From there comes the song of the rain. From the leaves, it reaches the roots, stretching out to eternity. How much is this book, Albert? For you, just too real. It's still too much for my empty pockets. If you had the lamp, you could ask it for the book. Hmm. I'd ask for so many things, if I had that lamp. But now, we have to sell the boots. Hey, you see the snake? Good morning, Aladdin. Good morning. Stars envy. You who force the sun to vanish when you appear. You as full of grace and as pliant as the willow on the hillside. Are you a poet? A poet among shoemakers, madam. See for yourself if this isn't poetry. Caress the softness of the leather. Breathe in its perfume. Admire the perfection of the stitching. How much are they? For you, 
Only 50 reals. That's daylight robbery. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. 45. Come on, don't be shy. This is a great deal. Stand aside. Got his courage. Hey! Look out! <gasps> Killed him! Damn bullies! You hurt. Here. You are very kind. You could do with a pair of shoes. But how can I afford them? than I do. No one should go barefoot in this world. Thank you. Even though he was poor, Aladdin knew how to be generous towards those less fortunate than him. Hurry up, you slut! Unlike the passenger in the carriage, who despite being rich and fortunate, thought only of herself and knew no pity. Princess Shahrazad was the daughter of Caliph Shariar and lived in the city's biggest palace. Thanks to her father's wealth, she had everything she desired. We made it, little strawberry. How about a little water? Tease your thirst. Princess, your tutor is waiting for you for your astronomy lesson. Let him wait, Shirin. He's paid to do that too. All right. Your book, my lady. Thank you, Shirin. Have fun. Princess. It wasn't Asud that measured the moon's diameter. It was Masuf. Begin and try not to make mistakes this time. Sorry, Princess. Zohar, Mustari, Oza. Proud of his only daughter's intelligence, the Caliph hired the best tutors no. to educate her. And he had even given her a library all of her own. Ah, yes. But privilege and culture, instead of improving her, had made her arrogant, spoiled, and proud. Even though all that wasn't entirely her fault. You're not here, and nothing moves. You're not here, and the secret of life remains hidden. Sherazad. Father. You have been writing poetry? Yes, for mother. I miss her so much. I know. I miss her too. Shirin? Shirin? Where is she? The princess. Well, she's there. I'll give that presumptuous little madam a piece of my mind. Oh, you're here, my beloved. Alisa. Why are you angry? Prince Jafar sent this beautiful necklace for your daughter, and she ordered Shirin to send it back to him. I'm not wearing a slave chain. What are you saying? It's a beautiful piece of jewelry and a sign of the prince's great admiration for you. Well, he must be a clairvoyant if he could admire me without knowing me. You'll have to meet him then. That way he'll get to know you. I can't. I'm busy. I have to study. At your age, girls dream of meeting the prince they will fall in love with. But you prefer to be alone, surrounded by dusty books. Hmm? You're free to join me if you'd like. Oh, I forgot. You don't know how to read. 
Don't be so impertinent, Sherazad. You can't force her to meet this prince if she doesn't want to. By the way, did she tell you that you went to Quum today? Alone and with the carriage? You went to Quum on your own? I needed a plant. Perhaps you have forgotten how your mother died. Do you want them to kidnap you too? No, father. You know you mustn't go out alone for any reason. Promise me you won't do it again. I promise. And you will write to Prince Jafar to thank him for the necklace, hmm? You're not here, and nothing moves. You're not here, and the secret of life remains hidden. Giving away a pair of new boots with leather the price it is these days? What on earth were you thinking? Forgive me. I felt sorry for that poor man. And not for us? Don't be angry with him. He did a generous thing. You're generous when you can afford to be, not when you barely have enough to live on. working in the dark. You're not going to the festivities. I have made another pair with the leftover leather. Aren't they beautiful? As soon as the market opens, I'll sell them and bring you the money. How did you pay for it? With the money I put by for your father's tobacco. Come on, read me one. Oh, my heart. Imagine having everything in the world. Imagine that everything is a delightful, is a delightful green, green garden. garden. And you, on this green grass, imagine being a drop of dew, settling in the night. They're playing music. There must be a celebration. Kareem, go and tell him the girl has gone out. Yes, ma'am. The fool couldn't have given us a better opportunity. Are you thirsty? Come. Come have some water. Come. A pink 
water lily. A rose for my sweet love. Oh, it's cold. I picked a rose to make him fall in love. Here somewhere. You want hot bread? Have you seen two young people? No, I have been. Where are they? Speak! I Tell me where they are. What are you talking about? Don't lie to me now. Oh, Nils. You know what will happen if you don't tell me the truth. What's up there? The grain stall. You two, go check it out. They're here! Kill us. Move it! Are you all right? Let's go. Yes. There they are! Hey, we're nearly there. Can you make it? Hey, over there! Taking me. Careful, the kind of scars. Let's go. Look at this. They'll never find us in this crowd. Are you tired? No, just sturdy, barefoot, and 
Take this for now. Wait here for me. Friends, I help her out now and then. So, let's find something to eat. Do you prefer uh, flatbreads or almond sweetmeats? What's flatbread? You don't know what flatbread is? No. It's unleavened bread. Yusuf makes the best in the city. Come on. Yusuf! Hey, Aladdin! For Aladdin and his new friend, cheese and cucumber. I owe you one. That's for you. Try it. Hmm. You see? It's delicious. It's spicy. Yusuf is a great guy. He's my best friend. You have a lot of friends. You seem to have a few enemies, though. Those men in the palm grove were trying to kidnap you. A good job you were there. You were very brave. I save damsels in distress every day. <laughs> this is my favorite song. Come on, let's dance. I can't. I've never danced before. You were pulling my leg. You just close your eyes and let the music carry you along. It's easy. My mother was the one who taught me to recognize the stars. For instance, that one is Altair. The brightest star in the Milky Way. It's beautiful. And that one over there, next to it, you have Vega in a point that the astronomers call the sack of coal, or the swan break. Can you see it? I can see it perfectly. If uh, I had my telescope, I could show you the constellation of the peacock. Its globular mass, according to my calculations, is more or less the size of the peacock.
me the name of the stars, but not yours. Sherazad. Sherazad. They're Caliph Sharia's guards. I have to go home. Right away. Wait! Wait! I'll come with you. Those men may still be around. It's best if I go alone. Thank you. Wait! Hey, wait! You didn't tell me how to find you again! <laughs> We have been looking for you everywhere. We were getting desperate. Father. Where have you been? Why are your clothes in tatters? Well, my horse was very edgy, so I took him for a ride, and, and uh, my clothes got caught on a branch. So... What did I tell you? Is that how you obey your father? Shirin, take her inside. I'll deal with you in the morning. That girl has overstepped every limit. You have to take measure, Sherryar. He told me that I was made for dancing. And then, on a rooftop, we looked at the stars. And then he came close to me. And I closed my eyes. And you kissed. How do you know? <laughs> I went up to a rooftop, too, when I was your age. You should see how handsome you are, Shirin. And brave, kind, funny. He has friends everywhere, and people are so fond of him. So are you, if that sparkle in your eyes is anything to go by. Do you think this is love? Only you can know this. No one had ever made me feel this way before. But you have to tell your father the truth. If somebody is trying to hurt you, he has to protect you. Mm -hmm. Of shoemaker, in any case, look at the stitching. Mm. There's a hallmark here. It looks like a crown with three points. That's the mark of the caliph's shoemaker. So the person who wears them belongs to the royal family. You kissed the princess? The girl from the festivities. Hmm. Maybe you need more light. What are you doing in my greenhouse? I was looking for you. I'm busy. 
Your father sent me. He wants to see you. Right away. Father? I'm worried about you, Sherazad. All you ever do is disobey me, and you finally went too far last night. You know how much your safety matters to me. You are my only child. If anything were to happen to you, it would be the death of me. But you don't care about the way I feel. I care very much, but I'm an adult now. You can't keep me locked up in a cage like a canary. That's exactly what I said. At her age, she has a right to a life of her own. But you can't leave home and be alone. So you will get married. But I don't want to. I'm not giving up my library and my studies to become a slave to a stranger. I don't need a husband, and I'm not getting married. Do you want to spend your whole life alone? Who will protect you after I'm gone? But you'll always be here. You will receive the princes who aspire to your hand and get acquainted with them. You will be free to pick the one you prefer. But by the end of the year, you will marry. Where are you going? You can't come in. I have to see Princess Sherazad. The princess doesn't see beggars. Get out. I'm not a beggar. I have to give her something back that belongs to her. We know each other. Sure, you are close friends. I bet she even invited you to her wedding. Wedding? She's getting married? When? Soon. Go away. Princess, where would you like us to put the plants from Coom? Maybe it's wiser to send them back. Before I kill them too. Sweet. Did you see the princess? Aladdin? What's the matter with him? Oh, don't worry. She'll get married. The prince or a sultan will carry her off. Shower her with jewels. And I'll never see her again. Have you fallen in love with her? What's wrong with that? She's special. There is no other girl like her. I know. I know I'm not worthy of her. I'm not a prince. I'm not a sultan. I'm not learned. I'm not... What are you saying, Aladdin? You're everything. You're generous. You're intelligent. You can see the beauty in a poem. How many sultans can do that? You think love can be bought with jewels? Not true love. True love is won through merit and with the truth of one's own feelings. If you love her, nothing can stand in your way. But you have to be proud of what you are. Aladdin is so courageous and full of life, while these princes are stupid and boring. I'm not marrying any of them. But you promised your father. What am I, some sheep that has to be blindly? Where are we going? To go look for something I read. Princess Toronto was very intelligent and very cultured, having learned all sciences that in general are studied only by men. Like you. Ah, oh, here it is.
when her father, the King of China, told her that he wanted her to marry against her will. Toronto started weeping in anger. Your spitting image. But since she was forced to obey him, she came up with a stratagem to reject her suitors. Really? What was it? A simple question. Amina brought the cloth for the dress, but we don't have enough for the turban. I can find it. Perfect. And we need a horse. He can't turn up at the Caliph's palace on foot. I'll take care of that. I'll have a customer lend me one. Then we'll give it back. It will just be for one day. Yes. Thank you. Get the hammer. Okay. You'll have to take her a gift, too. Have you thought of something? I'm working on it. What are you two doing? The diamonds for your gift. Look how they shine. Do you like them? Sure. They're perfect. Like a host of tiny stars. A false prince with the false diamonds. No good is going to come of this. Why do you say that? Because the Caliph's daughter will never marry a shoemaker. Voila les plumes! Stand still! Do you want some feathers? <laughs> Won't I look like a rooster with all these plumes? When you're in front of the princess, what will you say to her? Your majesty. <laughs> it's beautiful. He looks just like a prince. Here, hey. put this on. <laughs> <laughs> with a gift. Children! <laughs> Behave, you two. Not a word. Let Aladdin do the talking. Yes. <laughs> Thanks to all the help from the local people, Aladdin was now ready to go and ask for the hand of the princess. While Shahrazad, unaware of his arrival, was getting ready to surprise the caliph and his court with the trick she had thought of. Princess Shahrazad. Reception begin. She's as beautiful as her mother. I hear she's even more cultured than her tutors, but how haughty she looks. From distant Katai, His Venerable Highness Prince Li Ze Ming. sends you this gift as a sign of his great respect and admiration. And he asks you to grant him the honor of becoming your husband. Tell Prince Li Ming that I appreciate his special gift very much. And that I would be honored to accept his proposal. That didn't take long. On one condition. <clears throat> to
To prove himself worthy of me, he will have to answer the question that I ask him correctly. What's all this about a question? I have no idea. Uh, the Mandarin asks if a question means a riddle? Exactly. Mm. Please go ahead. Can you tell me what father, after bringing his children into the world, devours them once they're grown? Well, that's impossible to answer. What kind of question is that? A father doesn't devour his own child. Uh, the mentor is asked, how much time does he have to come up with the answer? All the time he wants. I'm in no hurry. to do something. Next. Sultan Kamal Rashid Ridwan Ahmadin Suleiman II. You may enter, Majesty. <laughs> His Majesty. Aladdin the second, Prince of the Land. <laughs> you may enter, Majesty. <laughs> Stop here. You cannot go further. The best of luck, Aladdin. Best of luck, Aladdin. Yes, the best of luck, Aladdin. What a place. Make way. Make way. For Prince Jaffa! <laughs> what luxury! Let's hope the princess marries you. So we can all come and live here. I know. I know. An ogre. I'm sorry. Wrong answer. Oh. <laughs> Enough, Sherazad. This joke has gone on long enough. No father, after bringing his own children into the world, devours them once they are grown. You have made up a question without an answer, to humiliate your guests, and to make a fool of me. I'm sorry to contradict you, sir. But there is an answer. Who just spoke? I did, Your Majesty. And you are? His Majesty, Aladdin II, Prince of the Lamb. I didn't invite him. So, what is the answer if you know it? It's simple, Majesty. The father who devours his own children, once they have grown, after bringing them into the world, is the sea. In fact, the waters of the sea evaporate and form clouds, which then disperse as rain and feed the rivers. Then, once they have grown, return to the father that gave them their origin. I wouldn't have known that. I'm impressed by your learning, Prince Aladdin, and happy to make your acquaintance. The honor is mine, Princess Sherazad. Have you not brought me a gift, apart from your own presence? I certainly have. I know you study the stars. 
and I wanted to give you some, setting them on my gift in such a way that you may always carry them with you and remember the thing you love the most. They're beautiful. May I have the honor of putting them on your feet? They look spectacular. I think I do feel them. I've never seen anything like them. Do these diamonds come from your kingdom? No, my lady. They're pieces of glass. But he made the shoes with his own hands in our workshop down in the city. You have a workshop? My father's, princess. You're not the Prince of the Lamp? No, Princess. I'm a shoemaker. A shoemaker? I lied to you about my name, but my feelings are sincere. I've loved you since the very first moment I saw you. That's the truth. Are you talking as a false prince? Or a dishonest shoemaker. Which one should I believe? The one who's ashamed of what he is? Or the one who passes himself off as something that he'll never be? I told you he was an imposter. Only an idiot wouldn't have realized that. Go. And never come back. Yes, Father. Did I say something wrong? No, Leila. You told the truth. <gasps> He's back! <gasps> well, how did it go? What happened? What happened? Oh. Don't feel so bad about it. At least you tried. They were saying she's haughty. It's a shame, though. From the city of Damascus, Prince Jafar. Your stepmother doesn't do you justice, Princess. You're much more beautiful than she said. That doesn't surprise me. You're the one who sent me that slave necklace. What have you brought me this time? Chains? <laughs> You're very witty, too. Actually, I have decided not to bring you anything at all. What could you possibly desire that you don't already have? True. Then I found out you were interested in botany, and since I too own a greenhouse... Be careful. It's very delicate. A strawberry. I had one too, you know. But it died. Perhaps you gave it too much water. 
that's probably what it was. I'll follow your advice. There's something in here. A ring. You lied to me then. You brought me a gift even though I have everything already. To be honest, there's one thing you don't have yet. A husband. But he cannot be imposed on you by force. You must be the one to desire it. When you ask me to, I shall return to put that ring on your finger. And if your father agrees, I shall make you my wife. In the meantime, I shall stay in Baghdad so that we may get better acquainted. Talking as a false prince or a dishonest shoemaker? Aladdin, you're drunk. You foresaw everything. Mm. We should drink to your wisdom. Come on, I'm taking you inside. I feel so bad. I could die. Are you feeling a little better? Come on, have some more. You'll see. After a good sleep, you'll feel as right as rain. I'm leaving. What? I'm leaving Baghdad. Why? I don't want to spend my life mending holes in shoes for a crust of bread surrounded by people that pity me. Like me? No one pities you. I pity myself. I'm leaving tonight with a caravan of merchants. What about your brother and sisters? What'll they do without you? I can't forget her if I stay here. So it's time then? Forgive me for what I said.
Shouldn't you definitely choose him? I don't know how she could consider anyone else. What about the Khaled? Did he say anything? Did he mention you? Yes, he was very impressed. The old fool. When can we see each other? Let's just take it one step at a time. We have to be careful, my love. Someone might see us. So I was good, wasn't I? Ah, you were perfect. Sure as I'd fell for it like a baby. The strawberry plant was a stroke of genius. You'll see. Within a week, she'll fall into your arms. The Caliph will give his blessing. You'll marry. And then we'll get rid of them both. Hmm. Sherazad rejected. Aladdin? way. You can see it only on summer nights. It's right there. Can you see it?
And then what happened? Why did you stop? Carry on. The night that you have granted me is over. It's dawn, sire. I want to know how the story ends. I'll grant you one last night. But at dawn, tomorrow, you die. Shirin! Shirin! My lady, you're alive! Yes. I'll try. can I do to make him fall in love? Good job, Shirin. Come. Your guest is waiting for you, sire. What have you done? I wanted to brighten up your night with light and color. I hate colors. They remind me of the joy that I have lost. 
Then you remember it. No. Continue your story from where you left off. Shirazad was lying motionless at the foot of the precipice. She's dead. It's better that way. Let's return to Baghdad. Let's go! With her being dead, everything is in my hands. But we have to eliminate the shoemaker. If he claims innocence, the people will believe him. You have to find him. And kill him. Consider it already done. Here. Have something to eat. I don't feel like it. love. Imagine having everything in the world. Imagine that everything is a delightful green garden. And you, on this green grass, imagine being a drop of dew, settling in the night. Look everywhere. What do you want? Where is your son? He left last night. Where did he go? He didn't say. Stop it! Why are you looking for him? He killed the Caliph and the Princess. My son is not a killer. The Caliph's wife recognized him. It's not possible. Shh, shh, shh. It's not possible. Be quiet. Where is your friend hiding? Talk. You better tell me, old man, for your own sake. Even if I knew, I wouldn't tell you. Burn the place down! Come on! This fabric, take a look. Unaware of what had happened in Baghdad, Aladdin was traveling with the merchants, trying to forget his Sherazad. But his wounded heart made him vulnerable. Easy prey for those who would take advantage of it. Hmm. Some precious goods have just arrived in town. Very interesting. Shall I have your carriage made ready, madam? Yes. 
I want to go and take a closer look at this magnificent specimen. Hmm. magnificent tapestry. The story, when I learned it, astounded me too. According to a legend, it was woven by Princess Heart of Stone, a poor peasant who had seen her walking in a palm grove, fell in love with her. When he went to her palace to declare his love for her, Heart of Stone rejected him and condemned him to death. What did he do? Why didn't she show respect to him? Quiet, let him finish the story. A genie, who had seen everything, decided to save the peasant and punish the cruel princess by turning her into a spider. Oh. Regretting oh. that she had rejected true love, Princess Spider made this tapestry. That is why its weave is as delicate and fine as a spider's web. Incredible, what an amazing story. And the peasant? Did another beauty comfort him? He was too hurt to give his heart to another woman. But he used his suffering to write verses and became a famous poet. Mm. Come on. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. It's a great deal. What do you think, my It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. His heart is broken and tender. Don't be shy, come on. And vulnerable. I like him. It's a bargain. You want to buy? You Go back to where you came from. You know a good thing when you see it? Come on. It's a great deal. Don't be shy, please. Come Might on. I have a word? It's a gift, please. please. It's a magnificent tapestry. Thanks. Come over here, please. I'm sorry. I did my best, but it was no use. You must be joking. The lady who just left bought all the goods. She wants you to deliver everything personally. She lives up there. How did you 
get here? Uh, I saw the smoke. I was hungry. And you came to steal? Not to steal. What's your name? Shirazad. You're injured. Uh, I fell down a precipice. A man wanted to kill me. Who? My stepmother's lover. They killed my father, and, and they were chasing me, and I, and I didn't know where to go, and I was just... What was that? The signal that they're on their way back. You have to hide. Why? This is the lair of a robber band. If Omar finds you here, he'll kill us both. <laughs> Jasmine, water. Everything all right here? Nice and quiet. A good haul? Better than expected. It took all day to cook these slops? Cook it washed. You stink like an animal. Get the coffers into the cave! Come on! Move those coffers! Come on, quickly! We should have killed that bastard. Never leave any witnesses alive. That's what I say. Don't worry about it. With the beating we gave him, the coward won't talk. That's for sure. That showed them. Yeah. <laughs> Are you hungry, boys? Food's ready. Good, I'm starving. About time. Come on. Me too. I hope it's edible this time. I could do with some wine as well. That was close. Here's some food. Jasmine! Coming! Put on the clothes, and once it's dark, I'll help you flee. What were you doing? I need the picture for the wine. Where the hell is it? Never seen a bush that moves before. Strawberries are as big as lemons. Would you follow me, please? My lady Namuna is waiting for you in the rose garden. Please.
I was sent by the merchant with the furniture you bought. Do you have a name? Aladdin. I'm Namuna. I liked your story very much about Princess Spider, but I need some advice on where to hang the tapestry. Will you grant me a few minutes? Certainly. <laughs> you look more like a poet than a merchant. Indeed. I'm not a merchant. Oh. But it's a trade that allows me to travel and enrich my knowledge. Hmm, that's admirable. And are you interested in something in particular? Everything. Poetry, art, the science that studies the stars. How curious. Come. I share the passion too. The stars are so magical. It's amazing. Altair. The White Star. Hmm. You're an expert. You've studied astronomy? A girl showed that star to me once. I have never had the chance to study. Destiny. Can change. So tell me, what else do you like, hmm? I don't know, many things. Get him, get him, quick, get him! What is going on? One of the pigs got away. Take it back inside, right away. Grab it, come on, grab it, grab it. He's terrified, poor thing. I'll take care of it later. Hmm. I'm sorry, but I'll have to go soon. I'll show you one more thing. And then I'll let you go. Come. Grab it. Grab it, you fools. Grab it. Move. Gotcha. That's incredible. There have to be at least a million books here. Aesop's fables? The voyages of Sinbad? Have you read them all? Oh, not yet. But this is where I spend all my time. I read, I study, I write poetry. You're truly lucky. I'd give anything to have a library like this. Actually, I could do with someone to catalogue them. But it's so hard to find the right person. Motivated, reliable. I'll pay him very well. And he could read everything he wants. The sole sacrifice is that he would have to live here. It doesn't sound like sacrifice, living in a dreamlike place like this. Would you do it? Listen to you. Get over there. Get, get over, over there. there. Go on. Move it. If just one of you tries to get away again, I'll send every one of you to the slaughterhouse. Did you hear what she said? Is that clear? Who are you talking to? No one. <laughs> the animals were agitated. But now everything's okay. 
I've ordered them to serve us dinner on the terrace. That way we'll be able to look at the stars. Do you raise them for food? No, I couldn't ever. Even if they deserve it. Look. What Aladdin was seeing wasn't what he thought he was seeing. And he couldn't even begin to imagine the danger he was in. My dearest parents, you don't have to worry about me any longer. After all the bitter hardship, destiny has finally brought me some luck. I now have a job cataloging a library in the house of a sophisticated and cultured lady. Finally, I can realize my dream to study and forget who made me suffer. I am sending you in advance on my pay. Give everyone a hug from me. You're Aladdin. You were supposed to bring me that man's head a month ago. If he talks and it comes out that he's not the killer of Caliph and his daughter, the people will believe him. I searched every neighborhood with a fine tooth comb, tortured his friends. Perhaps he really has left Baghdad. Then you need to find a way to get him back. How? Do I have to tell you everything? Arrest his family, have his father hanged. If this Aladdin fellow has that many friends, someone will warn him. And when he comes out into the open, you'll catch him. The maid's coming. Where are you going? The mistress has asked me to buy some dates for her. Come Thank straight you. back. Of course. Open the gate. Who is it? I'm looking for Aladdin's parents. Come in. What do you want? I've come to warn you that you're in grave danger. They will arrest you. They plan to kill you to capture your son. But who are you? That doesn't matter. Get away. Save yourselves. Don't waste any time. What are we going to do? Gather together everything we need. I'm going to Yusuf's to get a cart. Children, come here. Salima. Yes, Mama? Come and help me. Meanwhile, Aladdin, dreaming of a new life, unaware that he was a prisoner in the mysterious Namunas palace, Shahrazad was waiting for a chance to escape from the robber's lair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, a 
How many soldiers? No, not many. Four or five. It's empty. Get more wine. Don't you have legs to get it yourself? You drunken fool. Maybe there's more in the tent. You're drunk. <laughs> Where's the wine? Hurry up, I'm thirsty. There's only brandy. As long as it's strong. Oh! What are you doing, Lord? Hey, watch out! Fuck you! Fuck you. It was an accident! You want to burn us all, you stupid! Where do you think you're going? A woman? A spy? I'm not a spy! So what are you doing here? That's the best of my chance. She's lying. I don't trust her. It's the truth, I swear. If she talks, we will all go to jail. I will not say anything. We have to kill her. Who wants to free her? Death to the spy! Death, Death to, to the spy! spy. Death to the spy. Death to the spy. A story can't end like that. You're right, sire. Many more extraordinary things still have to happen. And if you grant me one more night, you'll learn about them. You were not here to play, but to finish telling your story. This is the last night that I grant you. Tomorrow, you die. Carry on from where you left off. Shahrazad had been sentenced to death by the robbers, while Aladdin had moved to the mysterious Namunu's palace. What happens next? Begin. Shirazad was awaiting her death at Omar's hand. If you kill her, kill me too. Is this what you want to be, Omar? The killer of two defenseless women? Kill her! Yes. 
If I spare her, she will betray me. She won't. She's my sister. Her sister? She came here for me. If you don't trust her enough to release her, keep her with you. She'll help me with the work. If you try to escape, I will show no mercy. Drop the camp, we leave before dawn. You must kill her! No complaining! No complaining! Where are we going? None of your business. I owe you my life. Let's start gathering up the dishes. Load up! Bring those crates up! Go and get the flasks. Bring up those boxes. Hey! Back to work. Thanks to Jasmine's courage, Shahrazad had been saved. But the rich princess had now become a slave. Can I have some water? Water, please. Water? <laughs> <laughs> she wants water! <laughs> Get up! Get up! Rise and shine, sir. I feel as if I've slept a hundred years. What time is it? I have to get to work. First, your toilet. <laughs> What those clothes belong to? It's your new wardrobe. The mistress had it made up specially for you. While I was sleeping? Is this to your liking? <laughs> it's magnificent. What would you like for breakfast? I don't know. Uh, flatbread with cucumbers? Do you have that? Mm. Flatbread with cucumbers for Lord Aladdin. Such speed. It's delicious. Even better than Yusuf's. Do you desire anything else? Is the lady already up? Oh, she usually rests until midday. When she wakes, tell her I'm in the library. Sir? <coughs> Geography, history, Philosophy. What's this? What happened marked me for the rest of my life. I understood that instant gratification of our desires not only doesn't bring happiness, but it can lead to ruin. What are you reading? I don't know. Uh, it's a sort of diary. Where did you find it? It was up there. It belonged to the former owner of the palace. Take this one. It's much more amusing. Come, let's read in the garden. Aren't I supposed to catalog the books? Reading to me is also part of your job. You drank your full, eluding my charm. You must be the wily Sinbad. <laughs> you were saying someone lived here before you? Oh, yes. An old scientist. A poor mad fool. Help! Did you hear that? No. I'm here! Uh, 
That stupid parent never loses the habit of frightening my guests. I thought it was a man's voice. Because he imitates it perfectly. Help! Free me! Oh, he says it over and over. That damn bird. Oh. Hmm. Red is your favorite color. You noticed. Oh, you are so kind. It's a long time since anyone did anything romantic for me. I find it hard to believe that a beautiful woman like you has no suitors. Oh, there have been some in the past, but men have always proved a disappointment to me. And what about you? Have you ever been in love? Only once. But she didn't want me. She must have been a fool if she couldn't see your qualities. I just wanted to get to know you. Hey, where are you running to? Wait! Come here! Just take it easy! Salem! Pitch the tents up there! The fire's lit. Back to work. How many have you done? This is the last one. What am I supposed to do with them? Pluck them, gut them, wash them, skewer them on these spits, and put them over the fire. Do it by the water. It's easier. Your sister looks nothing like you. What's her name again? Sherazad. Is the water warm enough? Yes, it's perfect. We could stop here, in these mountains. The men need rest. You know rest doesn't suit me. The last hall was a big one. Why do you want to carry on risking your life when you can enjoy what you have? Because it's not enough for me. What do you want? Dinner's ready. Eat this guy! 
garbage yourself. Eat this. Eat this. Yes, this is Sherazad. Hey. I've been better off dying than living like this. I miss my father. I loved him so much, and now I have no one. You have a sister. Are these yours? Aladdin. A boy from Baghdad gave them to me. Must be worth a fortune. They're not diamonds. They're bits of glass. He made them for me with his own hands to remind me of the starry night when we first kissed. And where is he now? In Baghdad. I didn't listen to my heart. And I've lost him. He's ripe for the picking. Hmm. Tonight, I shall finally have what I desire. Even without the help of that stubborn old fool. <laughs> what do you think, my lady? Hmm. Perfect. Tell Aladdin that we will dine in my room. Go. Yes, my lady. Hmm. surprise that I prepared for you? Very much. Here, we can admire the stars that we both love. <laughs> to us. To the luck that brought us together. The luck is all mine. I've waited so long for a man like you. A man capable of loving with a pure and honest heart. 
Kiss me, Aladdin. Kiss me the way no one has ever kissed me. I can't. You don't find me attractive? I find you very attractive. But my heart belongs to another. I thought that I had forgotten her. But this moment just reminded me of her. I'm sorry. Sherazad is the one I love. How dare you reject me? You're mine. Mine and no one else's. Let's go. Hey, Jazz. Shh, shh. If you behave, nothing's going to happen. Shh. So soft skin, so nice and sweet. Shh. Hey, let her go. She's mine. You have your woman. Get your things and get out of here. In my gang, there's no room for people like you. Gather the men. I have something to say to them. Are you hurt? No. Everything is fine. I've decided our next goal! The Emerald of the Magic Mountain. One million reals! We know what happens to those who climb that mountain. We will die if we go up there. Don't you get it? He's mad! He treats us like animals. He only cares about his women. Come with me to raid a caravan of traders. He's not our leader anymore. Whoever wants to go with this slime, better do it now. Otherwise, he will taste my sword! The others wait for me here. I am going alone to the mountain! Uma! Uma! Jasmine! Uma! Uma! The mountain asks an impossible question and turns to stone anyone who doesn't know the answer. Nobody has ever passed the test. Uma will die. Why do you care so much for him? Before meeting him, I used to dance at the tavern in Kung. The owner beat me and so I ran away. I lost my way in the thick woods. It was dark. I was trying to get away from him. ravine. 
I broke a leg and I couldn't move. I knew I would be dead before dawn. But someone found me and saved my life. That person was Omar. days we spent together were the happiest of my life. But our happiness was short-lived. And then you know it's a good plan. All we need to do is gather the gang. What do you think we could do? It sounds like an easy job. What about the diamonds? They're in Shiraz waiting for you. But we need to make a move now, otherwise someone else will get there before us. But maybe you have other plans. The plan is still the same. Get the horses ready. We're leaving. Who are all those armed men? Robbers. Just like me. I was on the run. But it's over now. But what about us? I'm going to Shiraz to join the rest of my gang. You do what you want. You don't have to follow me. But I followed them all the same. To Shiraz, to Yetz, wherever they went to steal. Every time hoping that it would be the last. That the plunder would suffice. But it's never enough for him. How can you stand being with a man that puts more value on money than on you? I love him. And I still hope to win him back. I wish I had the hope you did. To believe that maybe someday I might win back Aladdin's love. But for me, it isn't so. Omar? Omar? What are you doing in my tent? I was looking for you. I want to help you steal the emerald. Get out! I don't need your help. I can solve the mountain's riddle. Really? Do you know how many men die trying? How could you succeed? Because I've read many books. And I know every field of knowledge better than many erudite men. If you let me answer, I won't get it wrong. And you'll have the stone you desire. Why do you want to risk your life for me? Because I have nothing else to lose. But you do. I want to go! No sense in shouting yourself hoarse. No one can hear you. Who said that? I'm here, to the left. A talking parrot? What's that? I can't hear you. Hmm. A stone hit my eardrum. I'm still a bit dazed. Sorry. You were saying? You really have the voice of a man. You must be bewitched. I am a man. You see me like this because a spell was cast on me that turned me into a feathered being. You've nothing to say? Like, I'm sorry? How did it happen? Who did this to you? How did it happen? Sit down. It stresses me talking to someone who's standing. First of all, my name is Mahamud al-Jin, better known as the wise man of Abakur. You were a wise man? Of botany. 
or at least it was 10 years ago, when I retired to this place to devote myself to a series of experiments concerning the cultivation of strawberries. Why strawberries? Don't interrupt. Because I've had a passion for them ever since I was a child. I lived a peaceful life, but also a very lonely one. And so, one day, when a young woman turned up at my gate, asking to become my student, oh, thank you. I decided to take her in so I could have a little company. She was very interested in my research. And I had someone to talk to at last. But it was a different kind of research that had brought her to my home. out that she was a sorceress called Namuna. This doesn't work. It was too late. Where is the real one? I refused to give her what she wanted. Tell me where is the real one? And she punished me by turning me into a bird. <laughs> That's terrible. Ten years shut up in here swinging on this perch like an idiot. At least the others keep each other company. What others? The pigs. All victims of that sweet lady. Why does she do it? What does she want? Haven't you realized she wants love? Love with a capital L. Love that sets your heart pounding. <laughs> the trouble is, she doesn't have a heart. So if I don't make her happy, she will do the same with me. You can bet my feathers on it. Unless... What? You sacrifice yourself, settle down with her, and free us all. You must be dreaming. I love someone else. I'll never settle down with a witch. It was just an idea. If you have a better one... We have to get that ring that she uses for her spells. Negative. She never parts with it. I read a book in the library. Yes? About a scientist who lived in Syracuse. Archimedes, you mean? The inventor of the parabolic mirror? Muna's room is full of mirrors, too. Mirrors! Ring! Animals? Brilliant! My lady. Come, darling. Don't be afraid. Should I be? Yesterday evening you made me angry. But if you're nice with me, I'll be nice with you. I can be very sweet. And if I'm not nice with you, what will you do with me? Shut me in the pigsty? <laughs> oh, silly. You're different from them. You're special. And what are you like? Try me, and you will see. The fire of passion burns out in a flash, but true love knows how to wait. I've waited long enough. Make me burn. I want a real woman, not some sorceress. How dare you call me a witch? Isn't that what you are? A heartless witch? Enough. I'll show you what I'm capable of. If you are not a man, an animal you will be!
Mahmoud! It worked! It worked. It worked! Look! It worked! It worked! Look! Look, I'm a man again! I'm a man again! Oh. Oh. Is something wrong? Everything's fine. We need to get going. Now. <laughs> when I think of all the bird seed I ate the last ten years. <laughs> oh, thank you. I have a real craving for them. <laughs> Have you been here before? They're all giving you odd looks. <laughs> Mahmoud, listen to me. I have to say. But what does the past matter? Let's drink to the future. To freedom regained. To freedom. Now, you have to tell me what I can do to repay you. You can ask me anything you want. The only thing I desire, apart from seeing my family again, is to marry the girl I fell in love with. But that's an impossible dream. Getting away from Namuna seemed impossible too. But you managed it. Yes, but Sherazad is a princess. To be worthy of her, I would have to be a prince. And if you're not born one... I'll help you. If that's what you want. Really? How? How? Your crest! Look on the bright side. At least you are free, <laughs> apart from the smell of singed hair. Can we change the subject, please? You still haven't told me how I'm going to become a prince. Have you heard of the lamp that makes all wishes come true? Of course I know. It's my little sister's favorite story. Well, it's not a story. That lamp truly exists. It's the reason why Namuna was holding me prisoner. She wanted me to tell her where it's hidden. And you said nothing for ten years? It would have been absolutely no use to her anyway. It can't make people fall in love at will. It can only give material things. How do you know where it is? Have you ever used it? No. But I know the person who buried it a long time ago. Is it much further? We're nearly there. You're there beyond the border of desires. 
I approach slowly and meekly, so as not to shatter the fragile porcelain of our dreams. Beautiful. What dream did you have, Mahmoud, when you were young? Just one dream, ever since I was a boy, of finding a way to make the arid land of my village fertile. And did you make it come true? I had an opportunity to, but I didn't seize it. In later years, I've learned how to make plants more luxuriant, how to obtain juicy fruit, but to give life to the earth. No, that cannot be invented. It's either there or not. So, no, my dream didn't come true. But tell me about your Shahrazad. She must be a very special girl. She's very beautiful. She's intelligent, cultured. She is unique. You're unique too. Why do you think you have to become a prince to deserve her? To have something to offer her. Aren't you enough? As a prince, I'd be able to bring her to live in my castle, give her a life of luxury, by her precious jewels. Maybe I'm wrong? It depends on you. The lamp gives you only one chance. If you want to be loved for what you have, and not for what you are. What do you mean? Just what I said. Where did you learn to cook so well? My father was a cook. Really? Where are you from? Basara. That's why they called you Omar, like the great caliph. I don't have pleasant memories of that city. Why not? My father worked at the palace of the Lord. One day, someone stole from the kitchens. He was accused of it. Of course, he had nothing to do with it. He had always been an honest man. But his master didn't believe him. And he cut his hand off. Because of that injustice, he lost his work, the other people's trust, and his dignity. So, one morning, he went down to the rocks and threw himself into the sea. We never saw him again. That was when I started stealing to get revenge. But it's never enough. You'd better get some sleep. Tomorrow we're leaving at dawn. Why did you never tell me? You never asked me. What will you do if Sherazad succeeds? Will you break up the gang? Maybe. 
when you found me. I was fleeing a life of loneliness and tyranny. I didn't fall into that crag. I threw myself into it. But you saved me. And you forced me to live. The dignity that you weren't able to give back to your father. You've given to me. Whatever happens, I wanted you to know that. Mahmoud? Mahmoud? You are not coming with us. Only Sherazad and I are going. But how... You stay here. Prepare the horses and get ready to escape. We'll make it. It will protect you from the wind. Let's go! Let's split up. It's all right. I'll be close.
I'm right here. Be careful. Who are you? My name is Sherazad. You are the first woman who has dared to confront me. Why have you come up here? To admire your beauty. Is that the only reason? Only for that? Yes. That is the only reason. To have such a privilege, you must answer a question. Are you ready to try, Sarazen? Yes. I'm ready. Listen. Can you tell me who is the winged sovereign who dwells where the first star of the evening rises? And who had three children with Fauna and Flora? You can go if you don't know the answer. But beware, if you give the wrong answer, you'll turn into a stone. I'll give the answer. And what did Sherazad reply? Go on. I can't, my lord. Day has dawned, and you must kill me. You know I won't do it. Every night you bewitch me with your story. And then you stop at the key moment to arouse my curiosity. And to force me to spare your life. But don't fool yourself, clever lady. Every story has an ending. Even yours. I'll grant you one more night. Tomorrow. You die. Shirin! Princess! Put my dress in the basket! God help you, mistress. Miss Sherazad never find her husband in Aladdin again. He will not recognize her, and he will kill her! No!
You filled the room with stars. Like Aladdin in your story. All these candles. How many have you lit? One thousand. Like the nights that we have spent together. In fact, one thousand. And one. Whew. You're married. Yes. Why weren't you wearing the ring before? Because tomorrow, it will be three years since my wedding and I want to die, carrying the memory of my husband to my grave. Haven't you ever married? No. But yet, the clothes you're wearing... What? You only have tonight left to finish your story. Don't waste any more time. Begin. Shirazad was thinking about the mountain's riddle that our life depended on. Watch your answer! If the Sovereign is winged, that means he can fly. That's not enough. The first star of the evening rises where the sun sets. So his dwelling is to the west. That's not enough. If he conceives children with fauna and flora, that means they're animals or plants. I want the answer! The winged sovereign that dwells to the west is Zephyr, the west wind. According to legend, he first united with an immortal mare, with whom he had two sons, horses, and then he married Clarice, the nymph of flowers. And with her, fathered Carpus, fruit. Well done! You've passed the test. You deserve to admire my peak. Come on! Uh, uh. 
Give up the emerald. But I've gained much more. I am indebted to you. You have found a brother in me. So you can ask me whatever you want, and I will do it. The only thing I desire is to return to Baghdad and look for Aladdin. Now I know I can win him back again. But I promise you that we'll meet again. Because our lives are bonded forever. If you need us, you know where to find us. Be safe. Driven by the hope of finding Aladdin again, Shahrazad galloped towards Baghdad, while Aladdin, abandoned by the wise men, had lost all hope of finding the lamp. of the lamp. Be quiet, Mahmoud. The lamp that makes wishes come true? It made the castle long ago, but no one lives there. Why? It's damned. Is that Abaker? Yes. There's no one here. Where are the people? They're all digging. Digging? Come on. Hey, stop! <coughs> you can't dig here. Go to hell, Abib. I will dig where I want. Son of a dog, that lamp is mine. It belongs to the one who finds it first. You no, animals! No, no, no! Dad, stop it! Both of you! Hey, stop! Hey, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Aren't you ashamed of fighting like this in front of your children? Who do you think you are getting involved in our business? His name is Aladdin. He's here to look for the lamp, too. How did you learn about the lamp? Who told you? The wise man of Abakur. You know Mahmoud Al-Jin? It was the wise man who found the magic lamp. Didn't he tell you? When he was Mahmoud's age, he was always digging in the earth, trying to care for the few barren plants the family had. And one day he discovered the lamp hidden in the soil. So he took it out and started 
wiping the earth off it. And when he realized that he could just rub the lamp for his biggest wish to come true, he and his family realized that they had found a great treasure. Mother! Father! So they started to use it to make all of their dreams come true. They became more and more ambitious, while the other inhabitants of their village went hungry, until someone decided that the treasure had to be shared. And the whole thing ended in bloodshed. In order to gain possession of the lamp, one of Hamid's relatives killed the wise man's father. It was an accident. He killed him. And the wise man? He left a letter in which he said that the lamp had been our downfall and that he had hidden it for all our good. Then he vanished. No one ever knew where he went. Only you can tell us that. All I know is that he brought me here and then he left me. He didn't tell you where he hid the lamp? No, he didn't tell me anything. Excuse me, do you know where a shoemaker called Aladdin lives? He made these shoes. from Come with me. Come. I only have a little semolina left. Where is Leila? I don't know. I told you not to go out alone if they find out who you are. The neighborhood is full of soldiers. The door. Come in. Have you eaten? No. Please make yourself at home. Here. Thank you. I have no way of paying you back. Don't worry. You're hungry. <laughs> You're a shoemaker. I was. But ever since my son went away, along with the desire to live, I've lost the desire to work too. Don't say that, Ali. Our son will come back. How long has it been since you last saw him? Since the night the Caliph Sharia was killed. He had gone to ask for the princess's hand, but she rejected him. 
Aladdin was so in love with her that he decided to go away to forget her. If he knew she was dead, Your share is that? The princess. Why did you come here? Aren't you content with the harm you have done to our son? Bitterness belongs to the past. Please, stay here with us. Now that you've come back, Aladdin will come back too. Paces south of the castle. Then 100 steps from the stone wall. It has to be that one. There are no others. of the village, but no, no, to the west of the castle. So he has his back to the village, or does he? N no, no, wait, to the west. No, no, to, to the east, D to the west. In them. I saw one that wasn't filled. How are you going to get down into it? Are you looking for the lamp? What else would I be looking for? We're looking for water. There isn't any? Not a drop in the whole village. Maybe if we found some, they would stop fighting. Water in the desert. It sounds tough. There's another well on the other side of the wall. Will you come and help us? I don't have time now. Come on, Manya. He's become like the others. Let's leave him to his lamp.
breathing, thank God. Because of that damn lamp. I left you to risk your life alone. Come on. Come on. Where is that light coming from? Take Mahmoud out of this well for me. And then fill it with spring Mahmoud. water. Mahmoud! So that the people of Abakur may cultivate the land, raise their flocks, and forget about you. Are you all right? I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come here. Look. There's water. Unbelievable. It's a miracle. It's incredible. It's a miracle. I can't believe it. Water. <laughs> 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 I know, I know. I surprisingly mistook west for east. But if you turned around in the in the right direction, which is the right direction? I, I, I found it anyway. And where is it now? I left it where you hid it. It's already caused enough trouble. You've given up on your desire. You wanted to be a prince. How will you manage with Shehrazad? I'll get her to love me for what I am. And I'll give her what I have. You're right. Even if a fine castle... You can bring her to live in ours. Now that we have the water, we need the Lord to govern the village. We like you. Do you want to be the prince of the castle of the lamp? Yes, yes. the prince of the castle of the lamp. Prince of the lamp. The prince of the lamp. Excuse me. Where has Ali the shoemaker gone? Why is his house being burned? 
They ran away after the death of Sharyar and the princess. Dead? That's not possible. Shirazad isn't dead. But they found her body in the river. You've become better than me. A prince arrived in the city today. Sanya saw him. He has a castle in Abakor. They say he's really rich. I could sell him the boots. Abakur is one day's walk away. Well, it's worth 50 reals. It's useless. A princess is own personal shoemaker. I'll bet he'll buy my boots as soon as he sees them. I shouldn't have left them. It's all my fault. Who knows where they are now? Hey, and where she is. Forgive me, Your Majesty. There is a woman at the gate asking to be received. She brought you some boots. They're beautiful. Why don't you let her in? Did you make these boots? Your Majesty. Yes, sire. With my own hands. They're very fine. Who taught you to sew this way? The father of the man I love. What's his name? Aladdin. To see if you like them, you should try them on. If you grant me the honor of putting them on your feet, I'm sure you fall in love with them. I fell in love with you from the first time I saw you. And I never forgot you. And now, I shed tears of happiness, my beauty. Because I finally found you again. As long and painful as the wait had been, so the reunion was sweet and passionate. Mother. to make their happiness complete. Aladdin and Shahrazad wanted justice, freeing the town from the reign of Alyssa and Jafar. 20, at least on this square. And at the gate? Four. They change every six hours. 
Scott, what have you got there? What are you thinking of doing? To unmask them, we have to lure them out of the palace. Go on, move. You, give me some of them. Get out of here! Hey. <sighs> Hey, I know you. Go away. Go away. You're confusing me with someone else. Go away. But you are the one who gave me the boots. Aladdin! Get out! Go! Come on! What to do? Come on! Come on! Ah, get out of the way! They've captured the shoemaker. I knew he'd come back to look for her. What do we do with him? Hang him. It will act as a warning to the people seeing their hero hang from the gallows. They are going to hang him two days from now in the market square. What can we do? It would take an army to free him. The square will be packed with soldiers. It's impossible. I know can help us. Hello, soldier. What do you want? I put the wine over there that the Caliph ordered me to bring as a reward for this morning's capture. Oh. He could have sent some food while he was at it. I thought of that. It's all upstairs. Thank you. Here. Who are you? A friend of the princesses. In the name of justice, the accused is hereby charged with the murder of Khalif Sharia and of his daughter Sherazad, and is sentenced to death by hanging. Let the sentence be carried out immediately. <laughs> Who killed the Caliph Shariar? I was there, and I saw who killed him with my own eyes. Jafar and Alyssa! How dare you accuse us? Who are you? I'm the one who saw you plunge the dagger to my father's back! You idiot! Kill her! Get her! Get them! 
Hello, Princess. Where are you going to run to now? This time I'll make sure you die. I wouldn't if I were you. Sweet Sherazad, I desired you from the first moment I saw you, but winning you has been a long undertaking. Today, you're becoming my wife at last. Whatever happens, I promise that nothing and no one will ever part us again. I too, my sweet Aladdin, desired you from the moment I first set my eyes on you. But only after losing you did I realize how much I loved you. Today, our lives are being bound together forever, and nothing or no one will ever part us again.
thought you were rid of me, Aladdin. I told you that you couldn't have another apart from me. You will never have me! Be gone! You're the one who'll be gone. May my hatred keep you apart forever. May Sherazad never find her husband, Aladdin, again. And if she ever does find him, he will not recognize her, and he will kill her! No! <laughs> Taken him. I'll never find him again. Hatred is strong, but not as strong as love. Namuna has clouded his mind, but she has no power over his feelings. Your love is stronger than her spell. But if you manage to rekindle in him the love that unites you, his heart will recognize it. Shahrazad listened to the wise man's words, and she set off to look for her husband. She visited every village, every castle that she found along her path. And after three years, she finally found him. And she lit a thousand candles to light up his darkness. But the witch's curse was stronger than her love and her faith. And he didn't recognize her. And he killed her, just as you're about to kill me. That's how my story ends. He didn't recognize her, but night after night, Sherazad won him over, entrancing him with her wonderful story. I don't think so.